What's happening right now? Oh, uh, well, you know, we're, uh, we're, uh, stopped by the side of the road and, uh, we are going to have a slight delay in our flight today. The, uh, someone had a nice crash and, uh, you know, so, uh, if everybody could just kind of hold tight while Ed goes to check out the, uh, scenario, uh, we're just kind of parked on the side of the road and, uh, people flipping us off, you know, so, uh, Texas hospitality. Though. Good old Lucky Arrow team. And where do we work on our planes? In the rooms. Um, past years we've worked on them in like, uh, if there's a breakfast area at the hotel or stuff like that, we've kind of commandeered it. Um, but this year we kind of just worked on them in the rooms. So there's kind of, the two girls' rooms usually have less people, so we kind of set up there as our, our home base for working on the aircraft. And then Micro had their own room, so they kind of rocked their own plane there. Just just it, hey. just it, just it, just it. set up rooms and how we lay out our days before competition. Um, so we arrived the Wednesday of the week, I guess. So generally the first day is kind of getting, uh, getting food for everyone, do a shopping trip, 
Um, getting a plane, so this year we actually had a prototype plane down there. So getting that one ready for testing on Thursday. Um, as Thursday is kind of our free day to do whatever we need to. Um, so then test fly on Thursday, if that goes well, um, the plane isn't dead. Um, if it doesn't, it is, but we had a prototype, so there's still two aircraft anyways. Uh, Thursday evening is kind of getting ready for tech and spec and our presentation. So a lot of practicing and kind of just final touches to make sure the plane is up to snuff. Uh, Friday, we have tech and spec and our presentation. Um, this year we had a pretty shitty schedule, so that ended up taking most of the day. Um, in previous years, you can get done by one or two if you have a good schedule. Um, and then that night, just get ready for test or for for flight rounds for Saturday and Sunday, um, and any fixing that has to be done. Just had your presentation, and how'd that go? Really good. Nailed it, 9.45. Sweet. Good timing. Jason passed the payload install, even though the pins were left in the payload. So, uh, um, that's really good. All the guys told us we had a really good presentation, and then basically gave us a lecture on just a few things they think we could do better. Um, so yeah, pretty happy about it. I think we'll have a pretty, pretty good score for our presentation. Now it's on to tech inspect. then for micro this year oh well I haven't really gone to competitions in the past so I can't really compare but this year just looking at us I would say it went really 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 fantastic everyone put in a lot of work um, to achieve uh, what we have so far so facing competitions is not a joke or anything it's a pretty serious thing there's been teams that have been doing this for like years and years and we were able to pull a second place in the design presentation in the first year it's not Nothing to be, you know, just kind of whatever, serious kind of deal. And I'm just really proud of all the team members that they've put in. Definitely really thankful of the regular team just coming in and helping us, getting us up to speed. Each and every one really, really put us out there. And uh, I couldn't be any more thankful. Get it.
twisted. This rap is mine, mother. It's not a game. What you heard is what you hearing. What you hearing? It's what you hearing? Listen. It's what you hearing? Listen. It's what you hearing? Listen. X go give it to you. What? Wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to you. Knock knock. Open up the door. It's real. With the non-stop pop pop from stainless steel. Go hard getting busy with it. But I got such a good heart that I make the mother uh, wonder if you did it. Damn right, and I do it again. Cause yeah. I am like so I got to win. Break bread with the enemy. No matter how many cats I break bread with, I break who you sending me. You motherfucker never wanted nothing but your life saved. That's on a light day, I'm getting down. Down like it said freeze. But won't be the one ending up on his knees. Please, if the only thing you can't steal was came out to play, stay out my way. Mother, first we gonna rock, then we gonna fall, then we let it pop. his interest um, he helps out whatever he can and especially this year when we we're having problems uh, testing with our motor he was he was a great help kind of giving us advice on how to go about testing for different vibrations in the motor and uh, how to find what's wrong with it um, he's an awesome guy if we ever need anything uh, from him he's always there for us uh, as well as Paul I know he does a lot of some extra work for us, cutting out our dog bone specimens and helping us with any kind of test setups that we need. Um, it's great having the two of them as just a resource uh, for stuff if we don't know, basically don't know what we're doing. Uh, they're always someone that we can turn to. Um, and of course, Ed always buys the first round after competition, so.
I'd rather go back and have a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just tell me what happened here. This is, uh, you know, half late at uh, around, uh, it's around 1.25 p.m. We always managed to get her hand stuff with the, uh, yeah, and ribs. Yeah, that's good. Classic choice. Use a little bit more polish. Joyce as team lead next year? Um, words for Joyce. Don't take engine design on your team lead. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Basically, she just needs to stay on top of everybody and make sure they're setting their own deadlines and abiding by their deadlines. Test, test, test. Um, test as much as you can, even if it means compressing your uh, competition build schedule or even maybe rebuilding your prototype instead of building two competition aircraft. Um, if you need to do that to sacrifice uh, for testing then get it done because really that's what killed our year and that's what killed Ryan's year as well. Um, just lack of, lack of data on the aircraft and how it is actually working. I know Don talked to him at competition and he said maybe even having five flights under the, the airplane's belt kind of gives him an idea of how it's going to work and uh, what he can do with it and what he can't. So that would be kind of my recommendation is try to get as many flights under the aircraft as you can, even if it's a 50% scale or something of the like. Um, but yeah. yeah, have fun with the new rule set. Um, and good luck. Hopefully, uh, over the next few years, we can become as competitive as we once were. So, since you're not going to be on Micro anymore next year, yeah. and Santiago and Sophie are taking over as co-leads, yeah. yeah, 
do you have any words of advice for them for next year? Words of advice. Hmm. Well, I'd say just you guys have, pro uh, have started already working on it, Santiago and Sophie, and they're doing a pretty bang up job of it, as I can see. Um, just something I would like to say is just plan ahead. Always just keep uh, keep your focus on the end end goal and plan your work around it. Always try to get people involved as much as they you know, as they can. It really kind of bonds the team together and makes people want to care about the team and it really works works really really well. That's something I tried this year with some success, little success, whatever. First year doesn't matter. And uh, you know, yeah, just try to keep everyone together. Try to keep everyone together as work it as a team and. Just look towards the end, what's the end goal? You want to make a plane that works and flies and it's really well. And you also want to train other people as you go along. So right now as I'm seeing you're doing a pretty good job. Just got to keep it up and you'll probably, you know, second, no, first, first, next year, presentation and everything else.